That's right, it's time for you to get out your maracas and shake them like there's no tomorrow. Because here on VGamers, we're reviewing Sombra Di Amigo for the Wii. Now, for those of you who might not know, this game was originally released on the Dreamcast. And this Wii version is nothing more than a extended port, if you will, containing more songs and more of a variety in modes uh, for the Wii. Right off the bat, uh, the gameplay is fun and enjoyable. I can't stress this enough. You know, the enjoyability that you will get from playing this is pretty high. Unfortunately, there's been rumors spreading around that the controls are a little bit wonky in the fact that they don't pick up your movement, which is not entirely true. It's only up till you get to like hard or super hard that it gets a little difficult for the controls to pick up your movement. Obviously, with a game like this, one of the biggest and most important things is obviously the song list. And let me tell you, the songs that they've picked for this are not only fun, but they're perfect for the game. Uh, what they've done is they took some songs that were in the original one, they took some new ones, and they made covers of them to give them that almost Mexican style with things like acoustic guitars, trumpets, maracas, you know, whatever the Mexican style usually contains. And they've done a great job uh, doing that. Another interesting thing that they've done with this game is they've added some other modes to this, such as mini games, which are also fairly fun. Some of them are a little bit weird and not really necessary, but they got some really interesting ones there. They have like an interesting variety of uh, volleyball, and they have these other ones where it's like break the rocks by shaking your maracas or do as many poses as you can within the time limit. Just some little fun things that you can do if you're like, I feel like playing the game, but I don't feel like actually playing a song. And it's like, well, there you go. You got something nice, quick, and simple. So, overall, I give this game an 8 out of 10. Like I said, it's fun, it's enjoyable. But unfortunately, one of the things that brings it down is the fact that once you go to like hard or super hard, it becomes almost unplayable to a degree. And why I say that is because if you want to get some of the other songs, you have to go into hard and super hard. And it just sort of becomes a bit of a bitch to even try. But nonetheless, you do get an enjoyment out of this game, so I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for something uh, different further. Me, my, and I'm sorry.